You need to honor your body. You need to look at it as a sacred vessel because it is a tool of the Christian, a tool of source at this point. When you activate these keys and jewels, it's going to give you back a power, a power that was always yours, but a power that we forgot we had down here and also forgot how to use with integrity. So there will be lessons of integrity that come up in your life, too, that are questioning you. You know, will you cheat on that just a little? Or just because nobody saw you do that, will you do that? Somebody will always see you. Know that. Just like they'll see you when trucks are ganging up on you on the highway and help you jump five or six exits. Right? <laughs> All right. Integrity is something that's very important when you are, when you are working with these energies because you can cause harm to yourself and to others if you try to misuse them or misuse them inadvertently. Inadvertently implies that you would be given activations that were actually too strong for your mental body to handle. So you don't have to worry too much about inadvertently. You're not going to hurt yourself or anyone else with the currents you will have activated because the currents you have activated will go with the level of cognition that you have. And as your currents activate more, you will get greater cognition. So there is an integrity that will come. And you may start finding yourself wanting to make different choices about certain things in your life. Everything from attitude to, you know, to location, whatever. But you, there will be an expanding responsibility that comes in as these currents come in too. But there will be a peace and a depth that comes in to your perceptions and your experience of self that will also be, it will counterbalance the responsibility where the responsibility doesn't feel like a burden. It's just a no-brainer, of course. <laughs> you know? So there's some of the things that this is a, a macrocosmic thing we're getting into here and a, a microcosmic as well. It affects every aspect of our lives and of our afterlives or the lives after, whatever they may be, be we take our bodies or not. If, you're, if you are a person who isn't going to end up taking your body in this time because you know, it's a long way to 2047 and that kind of stuff, some people just are sick of their bodies. I don't like this one. I'll be glad to, like, what, what, other, what other styles do they have when we get over there? <laughs> Now maybe try one of those, you know, blue twelve foot tall, really like lean and highly telepathic ones that can levitate, right? <laughs> Something like that. So even if you're not taking a body, you still want to get through a gate. All right. So you need to use the body that you have and get its keys activated so your consciousness will have those frequencies activated whether or not you're taking the body with you when you go through. Ideally, we get to go through as a team, because there's nothing like that. We've been trying to do that for so long down here, is actually take a, th a team home with their bodies intact, <laughs> where you didn't have to start over. And we still have a good chance of doing that. It is not a dire situation any more than it's been a dire situation since they activated the darn thing. This has not been fun these last five years. It was supposed to be fun. It was supposed to be the great new age of enlightenment. It was supposed to be an end to this drama, an end where peace would be the final outcome. And you know what? I guess it is turning into what it was supposed to be anyway. Because it is an end to the drama. It is imminent. An end will come now. Starfire will be the end of that drama. And there will be peace at the end of that as well. Particularly if we get out. And we will get out. It's not a big if. It's just, well, <clears throat> pay attention team. <laughs> you, know, you got a big one coming at you. <laughs> You need to put up those deflector fields. And that's what the techniques we're going to do tonight are going to help do. The same screening techniques that will assist you in being able to now be more open with your chakras and open with your energy fields where you can participate in group energy work and those kind of things because you will have a strong enough frequency seal or a screen that will actually let energy flow back and forth, but it will transmute out anything that is coming in on the Metatronic code or reverse codes. So it won't let anything you, you might not have healed yet in yourself you know, harm anyone else. And it also will, will burn off anything that's trying to come in. So anything that's in somebody else's field that might want to like, you know, try to jump into your body, it'll go, ow, ow, that hurts. And will, most of them will back off. So it's something you can use personally, but it is also something that is going to enable a... <laughs> kind of like a set of bubbles to form on the planet, screening.